Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I hope life finds you well today. And in this video, I want to share my knowledge about thyroid health so you can have a better life and have more richness and abundance in your life and body temple, body vehicle, and your manifestation and creation and ability. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about herbs and just general health practices for your thyroid. So I'm gonna rattle off some things for your help, some body, um, some herbs I'm gonna talk about first, which I'd recommend. So the first one I'd recommend in no particular order it is rhodiola. Rhodiola is a sensational, powerful herb that is probably my favorite herb actually. And the reason being is because it has like men body, mind, spirit benefits. It has benefits on your mind and your emotions and your physical body. It's really good for your endocrine gland system, your hormones, as well as your thyroid. It's been shown in countless studies and tests to have significant, very, very big improvements on things like anti-cancer and anti-tumor, stopping cancer and tumor development, um, energy, reducing fatigue, more concentration, more stamina, and not just um, physical but also mental so it's fantastic for people studying or working with their mind which most of us or a lot of us do it's great for focus it's great for athletes it's famously used by athletes it's good for body regulation as far as our body temperature regulation like for example it's great for reducing shock of different temperatures especially the cold um, it improves performance physically and mentally it's been shown to even help erectile dysfunction in men, like better like erections or improving like um, erectile dysfunction. It helps menses, which I only found out about today. It helps like moon time menses, like menstruation cycle in women, which is phenomenal. There's also been studies showing that it for women who are on pharmaceutical drugs to help them to conceive, to get pregnant when they switch them to rhodiola, there's fantastic um, regularity and health of their men menstruation as well as getting like pregnant too. So that's an interesting thing. It's, as I said, I take it personally for energy. It's, it's probably nature's, possibly nature's strongest antidepressant. In some of the studies I heard like, 100% of people with depression had improvement. It's like really crazy. So if you look below in the link, in the links below my description, in my video, in the description box, you'll see everything I talk about in this video, full detail. And also you can, how to learn more and you can even get it below also in the links from my own herb shop. But of course you can get it anywhere. Um, yeah, so rhodiola is the number one herb that I can think of right now that's strongly beneficial for your thyroid gland. So the second one I'd recommend is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an Indian herb and it's great for energy, it's great for thyroid. It's an adaptogen like rhodiola, super very strong adaptogen like rhodiola. And ashwagandha is definitely one of my favorite herbs also. Not every herb is one of my favorites, but these two are. I'm not just saying that for the fun of it, because they have a very pro profound effect. Another thing, just getting back to rhodiola, is it also, as well as being a very, like it's really a natural antidepressant, it's also a mood booster. It helps like the brain neurotransmitters. So it's, um, it's, it's very good for like anxiety and just overall happiness in life. So that's excellent. But yeah, so rhodiola, ashwagandha, great for energy. And it's a, it helps the neurotransmitters in your brain too. It helps relaxation and just to be able to get a better sleep. So a third herb that I recommend is maca. Maca is excellent for your endocrine gland hormonal system. I'd really recommend that also. So all of these three herbs are good for your entire spectrum of endocrine glands. Uh, maca is probably more famous for endocrine glands and maca is one of the top two or three best herbs in the world for women. Um, I'd highly recommend maca. If I was a woman, I'd be taking maca for sure. And I'd be taking um, probably rhodiola after that and Shatavari also, but um, that's a different story. So maca will also help your your thyroid, okay? Rhodiola, ashwagandha, maca, they're all adaptogens to help you cope with stress and relieve stress and tension and help your body be stronger also. 
So Mac is excellent for women, as I said, regarding like menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, menstruation, having regularity, reducing cramps, better mood, less blood, etc., etc., etc. So Mac is fantastic for women. Okay, so that's the three herbs I've recommended. And the fourth herb I'd recommend, in no particular order really, is Siberian ginseng. I'd probably recommend um, Maca rhodiola and ashwagandha ahead of Siberian ginseng, probably, but not by too far. But I would recommend them ahead of Siberian ginseng. Siberian ginseng is also called Ulithero. It's it's one of my favorite, and the reason why is one of my favorite is if these are all roots so far. By the way, they're all roots. Siberian ginseng is great adaptogen. It, it helps body, mind, spirit, like the others I said. Rhodiola is probably the strongest for body, mind, spirit. It's a pronounced like mind herb and emotional herb and physical herb. Even by athletes like biathlon, they even had like less tremors in their arm on rhodiola. More concentration, less fatigue, faster recovery. It's crazy. I love rhodiola, it's my favourite. But anyway, I love um, the others too after rhodiola. I think rhodiola is my favourite. But Siberian ginseng is really one of my favourites too. It's powerful adaptogen. It helps, it helps your thyroid, and that's why I'm mentioning it in this video. It's great for energy, stamina, endurance. Um, I can't remember if it's good for libido, but um, I know Mac is good for libido, the one I just mentioned a moment ago. Mac is very good for libido and sperm count and fertility and stuff like that. So I'm going to put it in in the description below more so you can because I'm I can't remember everything you know but I'm just giving you like the things off the top of my head okay so another thing that's good for um, your thyroid is iodine and, and kelp is very high in in um, in iodine so kelp is supposed to be very supportive to your thyroid gland I take I generally take all of these at the moment I ran out of rhodiola <laughs> But I do take the others. They really help me enormously. Really, really good. They also, being endocrine gland supporters, a lot of these help your adrenal gland, which is like the battery of your body, which helps you deal with stress and to have energy and have libido and to have vitality and to have energy and to have like, to not to be all tired and fatigued. So if you have an operation or if you have a lot of stress or if you give birth to children, or if you get sick, or if you get really run down, like if you if you get really like um, if you're on a lot of like medic like drugs for a long time, or like bad unhealthy diet for a long time, or a lot of chemical exposure, or if you live like if you do things to the extreme or to the excess, that's your adrenals coping with that, and that's they're just going to get tired and burnt out. So like adrenal exhaustion is something really serious in today's life. I had it myself, and now luckily I've recovered. And my main focus with herbs these days is my, absolutely my endocrine gland system, my adrenals and my thyroid. So they're my three main focuses along with detoxification. And what I'm saying in this video is will help your adrenals also very profoundly. Everything I said, except for the kelp, it's not the strongest thing for your adrenals, but all the other ones are very good for your adrenal glands. So. I have a super greens formula which is like rich in kelp and ex extracted concentrated juice of stuff like um, barley grass juice, spirulina, chlorella, kelp and then a whole load of different other herbs like ashwagandha and maca and Siberian ginseng. So in the link below for the thyroid you'll see super greens is there and maca and rhodiola and Siberian ginseng. I don't sell ashwagandha specifically in my shop right now, but maybe will in the future. So moving on to the next herb that's really good is licorice. Licorice is very good. I found it out today. Licorice is very good for your thyroid gland. So licorice is phenomenal. It's really good also for like brain and um, brain chemicals and yeah, licorice is very important. Also, I learned today for um, stuff like bipolar. So it's associated with like making the things in your brain that are associated with like mood and balance and. You know, so licorice is very good for your adrenal glands. So it's in many, it's in many like adrenal formulas. 
that I've researched and tried on the internet also. So I'd really recommend licorice. I sell it on my shop too. As an extract, it's really sweet. It's really sweet and delicious in general. Some people chew the root, but as an extract, it'll be more stronger. It'll be really delicious. You can add the soups or add it to the instant tea or like miso soup, maybe. I don't know. You can add the different instant tea. Another thing I learned as well as licorice, and licorice is a really good detoxifier. It's a really good detoxifier. Licorice is brilliant. Very good for your adrenals. Historically used profoundly for your adrenal glands, but it's good for your thyroid, and that's why it's in this video. Next thing that's good for your your thyroid is so what is it again? It's like the, the licorice. <laughs> um, ginger, ginger root, and licorice is a root. So all of these are nearly all like roots, except for the kelp. So um, ginger is supposed to have a lot of the magnesium and other minerals associated that your thyroid uses. So I'd really recommend. Um, ginger, just add in ginger into your make ginger tea. It's a very it's a stimulant. It's like it's it's as in it's, it's, it warms you up and it helps uh, circulation. That's what it does. It helps stimulate circulation in your body. It warms and breaks down like any mucus or congested lymph. So I take ginger regularly as a lymph herb for getting cleaning things out of my body, and also it's supposed to help nausea and travel sickness. And ginger, I learned today, is good for your thyroid also. So that's a simple thing you can use. Buy it in the shop. Get organic, if possible. And you, ginger, of course, and same with turmeric. They're they're brilliant spices. You can use it in so many dishes. So many, like, cooking dishes. Um, okay. So, after that, what else is good for your thyroid? general detoxification of your body so I'd recommend getting a really good like detoxification like powder like a black formula with stuff like activated charcoal and um, slippery elm bark and um, plantain leaf um, just get a good detoxification formula and try and reduce your chemical exposure and um, chemicals are not good for your thyroid getting grounded I hear is also good for your thyroid so touching the earth with your like hands or barefoot like I'm barefoot right now it's good for your thyroid okay that's just a general little support but you really need to take the herbs you can't just touch the earth and expect your weak thyroid to get better or your adrenal glands so another thing that I don't sell at my shop that is good for your and that I won't have in the links below that I learned is echinacea root and also omega-3 fatty acids which you get from like oily things like nuts and seeds avocado they'd be my recommendations of where to get omega-3s from especially chia chia would be probably my main recommendation avocados as well so chia seeds and avocados would be my main recommendations to get omega-3s and um, a lot of the other oils and fish become more rancid so omega trees spoil easily in stuff like sh in like the shelves in shops. So it's better to get something like like an avocado or chia seeds because chia seeds are like very protective and their omega trees last longer. That's what I read and heard anyway. Chia seeds are a really good uh, nutritional food. And flax they say is also good, but overall. Flax is also good for like women, women's like breasts, like breasts, like anti-cancer and tumor on their breasts as far as I know. Flax seeds was a very recommendation, recommended to women. And it's better to get the seeds and then powder it yourself and take it, rather than taking flax oil or flax powder already. Better to get the seeds and do a fresh blend it, blend it yourself. And that goes for a lot of things. Better to try and things, have things as fresh as possible. So, okay, so there, that's all the herbs and superfoods and just dietary practices, almost. They're the herbs out of the way. The next thing I'd recommend for your thyroid and for your overall health, okay, to support your thyroid is more raw foods. You want more raw foods, okay? Don't be heavy on the cooking too much as a main part of your life. Try and graduate and switch your diet more towards raw food, okay? Because raw food has their enzymes, they have has more nutrition usually, for sure. 
it's lighter on your system it's easier to digest it's lighter to um, push out and remove from your body also so and it's faster to push out from your body too generally speaking so except for the dehydrated raw foods more like the stuff like the fruits and the greens and the salads they're really brilliant staples of a raw food diet more generally towards veganism too raw food raw veganism generally like that's generally better but if you're going to eat animal products try definitely get them organic it's way too contaminated with toxins to eat like non-organic animal products of any kind meat fish dairy eggs don't do that that's like just a bad idea altogether but otherwise let's go go more towards the vegan path if you uh, you don't have to be 100% don't have to be like extreme you don't have to get like crazy and think be identified with your label but that's what I'd recommend raw food and I'd really recommend green smoothies try have between like two cups to four cups or six cups a day of green smoothie that's just like a mix get a blender you get water you get green leafy vegetables like parsley um, spinach um, dandelion leaves cilantro anything like your favorite green leaves and then you blend it with fruits like banana or pear or apple banana make them creamier these are extremely easy to digest you can use like wild greens i'll put a playlist below in my link below the box where i have a full playlist on loads of wild greens you can pick for free that are even more nutritional and more powerful and more medicinal more healing than 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 stuff you'd buy in the shop so the wild food like you get for free like dandelion leaves and flowers clover leaves and flowers chickweed purslane nettle nettle is another one that's good for your thyroid too actually i forgot to mention that um there's so many there's so thistle there's plantain there's there's um cleavers there's an abundance of wild greens everywhere like even right this the grass you can, the grass roots and grass leaves are all edible too and then there's the um the tree leaf the clover clover is really good nutritional herb full of amino acids and yeah it's fantastic the clover flower is really good blood cleanser and nutritional so basically speaking the wild food is is like so powerful and like check check out this here's like dandelion dandelion is like a superfood so powerful you can save so much money and medicinal fresh properties like a lot of these wild foods are very herbal powerful medicines dandelion root you probably don't know has been shown to kill 98 percent of cancer i i forget which type of cancer but if maybe a few different types of cancers it's like dandelion root is like so powerful like the medicine is there for us guys so that's what i recommend all the herbs raw food and um, green smoothies really 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 recommend de-stressing your life if you're overstressed or you're overdoing things that's going to be very bad for your health so try and relax breathe rest be a bit mindful or meditate just calm down breathe slow down relax enjoy your moment enjoy the life enjoy the process enjoy the week enjoy the day enjoy the moment enjoy the present now moment be present more don't be like a fluttery mind everywhere the past and the future getting stressed and rushing and not enjoying life and sleep and rest are the, the foundations of health it doesn't matter what you eat if you're like totally always not getting enough sleep that's going to wreck your endocrine gland that's going to mess up your endocrine gland system it's going to make you not recover from your activities and stress and life so sleep and rest should be the foundation of any health practice or diet then getting more towards the healthy diet the stuff that's easy to digest like the raw foods the green smoothies very nutritional greens are like full of like vitamins and minerals and cleansing like chlorophyll and everything full of like iron full of magnesium loads of like really really good things for men and women okay so I highly recommend all of this stuff and um, I really hope this video helps you to have a better life and I'm really grateful for any of your support in any of the links that I put below or my own herb shop it's called higher self herbs from the like the higher self higher self herbs.com I love to get a new customer so you can subscribe and get a discount off your first order 
Um, if you want to befriend me on Facebook, please do and ask me any questions. I'd love to just help. My passion is to help the planet and to help the people in the world. Help the good spirits having an experience here, you know. Okay, so if I can be of any help, just like message me below. Contact me on Facebook, befriend me or message me on my herb shop, Hire Self Herbs. And also I do one-to-one -one coaching of health, body, mind, spirit, um, mental, emotional, um, relationship. I do life coaching, so if anyone's interested, just like connect with me and I'd love to help and love to hear from you. Thanks for your time. I hope you hope you get well in your life or if you're watching this for a loved one, I hope your loved one gets better. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give us a like. I really appreciate that helps the video and the channel. Otherwise, please share to help spread the word. Um, help the planet get better and help people also. So, um, otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. If you subscribe, you'll see you again in another video. And until then, have a nice day. Thanks everyone. Bye now. See ya.